All right, fifth graders, uh, I'm going to do my best to try and walk you through the process of our elements project that is going to take place over the next week and a half or so. Uh, this is going to be, in my opinion, broken down into um, two separate categories completely. And um, we have done in my classes um, some research in the past. We did our animal projects and we've done our planet projects. Um, and so it's going to be a very similar setup and a very similar process to what um, we have done with those two projects. But I want to make sure that I'm laying out the explanations clearly as we are now doing this project uh, during distance learning, which is, is uh, very odd, I think, for all of us at this point. So. Um, you are looking right now at my Schoology page and my three folders that I have in place for this Elements project. Uh, more than likely, you will only see one of these folders at a time, or I will open up a different folder um, at each point throughout the course of the week whenever I feel the need to open them up. So what I'm going to take you right now is to the rest of week one folder, because that is where the project itself really starts to um, take shape and take form. Uh, the first part of our project, guys, is going to be the research. And um, so I would really appreciate it. And again, if you're in my classes, you know that um, I really like to find all the information first and really make sure that I have all those questions answered or all the information that I want to put into my slideshow. Um, in advance so I'm not kind of going back and forth and, and constantly trying to find things to add to it later on to make it uh, get to a certain length. Um, so things on this page that are going to be important to you. Uh, obviously the top two things, the top two PDFs I'll go through here in a little bit. Um, the elements question and the elements rubric. Um, the questions obviously are the things that we would like you to answer about your element and the rubric is kind of a guideline of how we are going to score this project. What are some of the criteria and things we are looking for uh, from you in your presentations or getting that information across to your classmates. All right, the other thing I want to talk about here before I get into the actual element questions and explaining the process or what I would expect you to do for that is the elements discussion. And you see that right down here um, in the middle of your page says elements discussion with the two little speech bubbles. Um, I think everybody to this point um, has used the discussion board uh, to a certain degree. So I'm going to click on that uh, just to show um, what this is going to look like. Obviously on my end it looks different than it's going to look on your end, so uh, just be aware of that. What I have typed in for directions and instructions here, it says please, please pick an element that has not already been selected by another student from our class. Uh, from the periodic table. Uh, it will be the first person to choose each element that gets it. If you already see the element on the list, please don't pick that element. There are plenty of elements to choose from. So um, guys, as we go through this, um, you will see, and I've got a couple of links here, four to be exact, that kind of tell you what the elements are, uh, show you the periodic tables. Uh, every link on here is slightly different from the other one, so click on whichever ones you want and maybe look at some elements first before you select one. But I'm going to go off of the discussion board and who posts when, and so if you already see an element on that discussion board, uh, please make sure you select a different element. I will have no problem um, telling someone to switch elements um, after I see that a double up element has been added for that class. So please uh, try and make sure you are only selecting a unique element that only you are uh, telling us about. It just makes for better information for the rest of us. We get a chance to learn about more elements and we're not hearing about uh, nitrogen 25 times. So. The next part of this, after you've picked your element and you've kind of done a little research or you've, you've kind of done some background and you've got your element, uh, the first thing I would suggest doing is clicking on the elements questions. Okay, so this takes a while to load up the little PDF. I'll make it a little bit bigger for us. And you can see here, guys, that we have a list of questions. We do not need you to answer all of these questions. I believe there are 15 questions on this page, guys, and so what I'm hoping for is that we can get you to answer around 10 
10 to 15 questions would be great. If you are an overachiever and you're looking for more things to do and you want to answer all 15 questions, by all means, go ahead. That is, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Um, but I'm just telling you, if you are on the other side of things and you're like, whew, I just want to do that bare minimum, Mr. Mace. I want to want to just get an A. I want to make sure I get this. Then do about 10 of these questions. Um, I don't care which 10 they are. I've got them listed here. You can choose those 10. So a little bit of element of choice involved in this process. Now, this is a PDF, fifth grader. So that means that you really cannot write on this page. So there are a couple of ways that you can answer these questions and keep that information uh, someplace so that you can have that information to eventually transfer to your slideshow presentation. So I'm going to minimize this back down, close out of this, and um, two things I would suggest. One would be, hey, have a sheet of paper, notebook right there, do it the old-fashioned way, um, look at a question, find it somewhere in our links here and write that information on a sheet of paper uh, probably numbering the question or, or writing the question down and then answering it so you remember what the answer was for those kinds of things there is absolutely nothing wrong with that i'm not going to be requiring that you show me your notes with this project um, just for the simple fact that everybody's got a different element so i know that you had to find your own information uh, moving forward the other way and this is what uh, some students did on our planet project moving forward was to create a Google Doc. So maybe some of you have done this in the past and maybe others have not. So all you're going to do to create a Google Doc, fifth graders, is you are going to go to your Google Suite, okay, your Gmail account, your Hastings Apps account, and you're going to look into the upper right hand corner and see a nine, those nine squares or nine dots up there. And one of those dots is Google Docs. And it looks like this symbol right here. All right. So once I get to this page, you can see I've got a few docs that I've got um, in play here right now from uh, my master's class, from my class, from whatever. But what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to this little uh, colorful plus sign. It's got Google colors all over it. And I'm going to click on that blank Google Doc. And it's going to bring me to a wide open sheet of paper. And instead of actually physically writing down the answers to my question, I can come to this Google Doc and create kind of a working document that I can continue to type on and add questions to. And I can always scroll back and forth, guys, between my questions. If I come here, I can see where my questions are and my Google Doc simply by looking at those two different tabs that are um, at the top of my screen. All right. So that would be, to me, about a half a week to a week of research, guys. Um, depending on how many questions you're answering, how much time you're devoting each day to this project, uh, that is kind of my guideline and my goal, anywhere from three to five days. Um, you might do it all in one day. I'm definitely not telling you not to do that, but I would definitely recommend or let you know that um, that is something that <clears throat> is up to you completely. We just want to make sure that you're not saving everything till the very last minute. All right, so that is the first video on the Elements Project, and that is how to record our information, where to find the questions that we're answering, and maybe how to record those answers. All right, the next video, and I'm going to lead you right into this next, will be hopefully a good demonstration of how to start up a presentation and maybe some of the basic features of that Google Slide presentation.